What's interesting about the enterprise is there's always a presumption that the enterprise stuff is mm -hmm. different somehow. I would argue that the scale of what enterprises are doing now is so interesting from a computational perspective that the best computer scientists should be working on these problems too. I'll give you an example, Google Apps, uh, which we have partnered on for, what, five years since we did that deal? It's gone very well. has 40 million users. We add something like 5,000 5, uh, 5, firms a, a day to the system, and the level of cross-connectivity is very, very high. Now add the social component, which you're leading in, and imagine that every one of those users is click, click, connect, connect, talk, talk, post, post, off they go. You have a very hard technical problem. And so again, enterprise computing ends up having all of these scale problems right. that we see in the consumer. Do you well. know a lot about enterprise software, even on the board of enterprise software companies? Yeah. Um, how do you see that shift happening in the, you know, as, as we're moving forward? Do you, do well, you see I, momentum? Yes, well, what's interesting is that, that many people doubted that the cloud computing apps model would work. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the year before you guys went public and you read the reports, the conventional wisdom was that these were toy systems that they were not going to be reliable, that people would not store their information in the cloud. And that was all wrong. So what you learn is, is you know, you read all the conventional wisdom and think about it. Now think about what's really going on here. Wouldn't it be better to have a professional who's operating at absolute scale with a very strong incentive to keep you happy, right, from a security perspective, and trust them to move, you know, again, they have to be good, which again, you guys are. Um, it actually works. So I think the most important message is that that entire generation of sort of PC application software where you charge the whole bundle per desktop, and remember these were PCs as you were locked into the architecture, it was called you know, client, client server computing or three tier computing, charged by the desktop and so forth, has largely been wiped out by this new model, of which I think you guys are really the leader in. Um, and that bodes very, very well because that says that as your infrastructure gets established, a whole new generation of com companies who will eventually compete with you all, by the way, so it's always the issue, they're going to come in and, and sort of top, on top of this data architecture that you're building, and they'll build new systems that are only imaginable today. I was thinking about it. If you have the Salesforce architecture, at least as, the un as I understand the way you guys have built it, you have a, a unified database around customers, you have a single point where, where you understand what all your customers are doing, and then you federate out to all the different application services. So you have the solution for the philanthropy and the solution for the support groups and the solution for the sales groups all against one common database. I think that's a layman's summary of your architecture. Out of that, now put on top of it knowledge engineering where we can go and look at what people are doing and with modern computer science, we can tell you things like we can predict when you're gonna have a traffic jam. We can predict when you're gonna have a next problem. That's the next generation of apps that are going to be built on top of this. It would not have been possible in the old architecture because the data was too scattered. As a business person, you want to be able to predict your inventory, your sales cycles. You want to predict um, all of the things that are going on. In marketing, you want to understand when people are coming to your website. All of this can be computed now and predicted. And computers are particularly good at now noticing exceptions. So they'll watch and they'll say, huh, at noon on Wednesday, there was a peak that's never occurred before. Maybe you should figure out. These alert models are also, I think, coming into play, and that'll transform the way businesses work. I mean, you think it's real time now? It's really going to be real time when we can go over all that data and calculate that information.